women have heart disease at a later age, and as a result, they are commonly missed. But when we, when we are suspicious of heart disease and we look for it, these are a few things we use to test for heart disease. A uh, common test we normally look for, if you're looking for the coronary disease, is a stress test where we put you through a, a series of steps where you stress your body so that you exercise at a fast pace, increase your heart rate, and see how your heart responds on an EKG, which is an electrical test which measures your electrical activity with, with exercise. And if the EKG shows any abnormality, that points towards possibility of blockage in your heart arteries. Um, we can further supplement that test by doing some sort of imaging along with exercise. We can do an ultrasound, which is a sonogram, to look at the heart and see how your heart moves when you're exercising. And if there's any motion uh, weakness to the heart, then that tells us that there is a blockage in that area. Or we can use some images with the nuclear medicine camera to get the images of your heart. Um, the caveat to the nuclear imaging in women is that because of the breast tissue, partly covering your heart, the nuclear pictures can be misleading and can be falsely abnormal in women. So that requires a special um, you know, focus on that fact uh, so that we review those pictures very carefully and maybe use a non-nuclear modality like such as echo or sonogram to do the stress test more often so that we don't run through that common uh, artifact that l the name we like to use call for a wrong test result. The other end of the heart disease that is valvular heart disease or structural heart disease where there's a damage to the heart muscle or there is any congenital problems, we can do a simple sonogram and look at the heart disease and heart valves and we get really good results with high quality sonograms. We even have a three-dimensional sonograms now which, we can, which can replicate human heart as if you're holding in your hand and looking at in different views. So technology is obviously very sophisticated now. Once we have a strong suspicion that there is a blockage in the heart disease, then we would like to do a test which is more confirmatory, such as angiogram, where we put a small tube in the right artery in the leg, and from that small tube, we can take another tiny tubes up to your heart arteries and inject a dye, a contrast, which can be seen by an x-ray and see where there's a restriction to blood flow or the blockage. And once the restriction is identified, that can be easily corrected by using a balloon and a stent, or if the blockage is affecting too many areas or if it's affecting certain critical areas in your heart, you may need to undergo a bypass surgery. So the testing is becoming, obviously it's widely available now, but the sophistication of testing is slowly improving now that we are able to pick heart disease at a much earlier stage. We now have therapies which can treat almost any complex heart lesions with percutaneous means or with surgical means. And in surgical means, we now have a robotic arm where we can do surgery without doing the usual you know, big incision in your chest. They can make small three holes in your chest and go with the robotic arms and do the operation with a very good success rate and very easy recovery because you're not having to recover. So it's not the heart surgery that you're recovering, which is a hard part, it's the recovering from the sternal wound because they have to cut through a bone which has to heal. Uh, so it's like creating an artificial fracture and then resealing it. Uh, and trying to avoid that by using robotic surgery, you can get a good successful bypass to your heart arteries without having to endure the fracture and the pain of the sternal wound. So these are all technologies and they keep evolving. So being in a heart hospital, which is at the cutting edge of technology, really helps because we keep updating our technologies year to year basis depending on what is more proven and better treatment modalities that are out there, we keep reinstituting in our practice.